Now it's pure black. I love how the dagger has like more than negative range, you know, it's just it's good. Like it's a good moveset. It's not even just like like in Dark Souls 1 where I like using the dagger, but like not that much. I like using it because it's a dagger, not because the dagger itself is good. Like this, like I can use this and I feel good about it. I don't feel like I'm constantly holding myself back from using good stuff. Which I just feel like I'm doing all the time in Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Never really felt like that in Bloodborne, because Bloodborne's just good. Alright. I genuinely don't think there's anything else in this first level. I haven't even, like, checked the second and the third. I have a feeling like there's not, because one thing that I do know about Pure Black with that door is that even when I wasn't in pure black it was still open so I'm thinking because I went pure black anything that would have opened because I'm pure black would be open now but nothing's open so either there's nothing or it's only in pure white And at this rate, I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. It's gotta be something I can do, aside from just killing the next boss, because I know you can summon a guy or have a guy in that fight with you. That is what I know. But I don't know where he is, who he is. It's possible he's not even in this world. He could be... Oh. It's like this guy right here. Is this a black phantom? In the sense that if I kill him, it'll stop being pure black? So that's kind of dumb because I just got here to get this guy to spawn, and then killing him makes him go away. But now that he's dead, is it not pure black anymore when I come back? But I can't farm that because he only shows up in pure black. This is just me trying to figure out the world tendency system without looking it up. Just floundering around.
Is Ostrava still wandering around the bottom area over here? Realizing that I can go this way makes me realize that, like, Ostrava is very missable. Assume that he's not just wandering around over here. Getting quite a bit of half moon grass, which is probably the time, that, yeah, the type that I would use the most with the amount of health that I have missing. All the time. It's a good one to cap off with, aside from Crescent, but Crescent like doesn't heal anything. He's not wandering around here. Nor is pretty much anything else. The Red Dragon's dead. So I can go over there, maybe. You can't tell, I'm just trying to stretch this game out for all it's worth. Find every little thing before making a big crack in content by going to the Shrine of Storms. That's it. When that, that's done, that's it. I see. So somehow that got done by accident. I swear I hear another dragon in the background, but it's dead, right? So what's stopping me from killing you here? Oh. Like... so everything is stopping me from killing you here. game is gorgeous. I know I keep saying it, but it just doesn't feel real that this is Demon Souls. Everything I ever saw about this game it made it look like dinosaur dirt.
Obviously, I would prefer this was remade to Dark Souls 1, because... I don't know. Dark Souls 1 might be the better game to a lot of people, but I'm really enjoying this. You got the reflection in the water. I know there's, like... Performance versus cinematic mode, right? But, like, that pushes this to 30 frames per second and it makes my eyes hurt usually I can handle 30 frames per second but this game I don't know I vastly prefer the other one but maybe on the next character that I play on my own time. I'll see how the whole game goes with the camera like that. The dragon better not come. I'm just me going on a power trip because I got a max level weapon in the baby starting area. Spear. This is a good way to get more grass, too. I know I'm just goofing off right now, but, you know. I'm being rewarded. If only a little. Even if that's not incredibly helpful to me now... Still use that at some point. And even if not now, that's good for like a future playthrough. You just know that's there. So with the phalanx, pine resin's pretty valuable. That's four right there. in a witch. Something I never picked up from enemy I killed, I assume.
There's going to be any changes because of pure black. It's going to be down here. You're not supposed to be able to go up there anyway with the dragon about. I'm feeling like there's not going to really be anything. Wait a minute. There's more. And I never realized. Even if there's no differences in pure black, I'm noticing things about the level in general that I just outright missed. I'm not sure how the heck I get there, though. And one thing that I have completely gathered is that these levels are very, very, so, uh, what was the word? Selected off? Clo closed off from each other, really. Sectioned off. That's the word. So, even if it would make sense, if I see an item in this level, it's in this level. And the way to get there is in this level. There's nothing like in Dark Souls where you see an item like across the way. You don't know how to get there. And then it turns out, oh, you get there like way later in the game. And then you can see the area that you were looking and you were like, oh, well, I wonder how to get that item. And you're like, oh, so I never could have. And you feel kind of kind of silly, at least in my experience.
all. Except for keys, apparently. Keys can go between levels. I wonder if that's the only door I open with this, or one of three. This is entirely new. And I could not have done this before. So it's probably just to open all the cells here. Oh, is this the guy? Who goes there? Have I been freed? Oh. Mm. That's it. A vile slob. I shall tear him limb from limb. Groveling soul starved abomination. <laughs> Bloody iron key. Hey. Saved me. I'm called the Orb, one of the twin fangs of Boletaria. I thank you. You're welcome. You deserve a handsome reward. Only I have none. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Go on ahead. Seem a little bit off your rocker. Oh, he's just sleeping. Okay, I got another key. Thank you for telling me where it might go. So, yeah, it doesn't matter that it was three keys. So wait, what do you know? I, I thought I was just wasting my time here. I really did. I'll give me like a pure whatever stone. Tower shield? Huh. From the Tower Knight. 30. That boasts crazy stats. Colossal shield used by the Tower Knight, one of Boletaria's great heroes, said to ward off all forms of malice, but is incredibly heavy and nearly impossible to handle. The largest known shield in existence. I mean, it was bigger when he had it. Yeah, it's probably bar none the best one in the game. You have a good sleep now. I'll probably do a little bit of chopping in this recording, since I know I spent a whole lot of time doing nothing. But yeah, I 
I did something. I freed the guy. I knew he existed, but that's all I knew. See you next time.